Hey, welcome back to ABC 5. We're getting our look outside on the Manor Cam this morning. A little bit clearer here in the valley that's uh, allowed those temperatures to cool off through the overnight hours. You might need that light coat as you're getting out this morning. A little bit on the chilly side. We're sitting at 53 degrees. Again, that's a 9 degree drop off compared to this hour yesterday morning where we were still into the lower 60s. Visibility is nice and clear out there. And today's going to be a lot like yesterday, just a little bit cooler in the afternoon high. Look at that 77 degrees. The average for this time of year is 85. So we're staying not only uh, below the seasonal high all the way into next week. We're well below that seasonal high for Saturday and Sunday. We're expecting high temperature 60s and lower 70s. A good setup of rain for our area on the way. The system out here uh, towards Alaska is going is going to be digging straight down along on the coastline pushing right into California and with that a really good setup, especially of rain south of our area going into the uh, Redding area, even towards Lake Tahoe, which is good news because of the mosquito fire. Now, obviously with any rainfall on these uh, fires that have occurred this year, flash flooding going to be that big threat. Now you're also seeing another uh, load just to our north. That system is really not going to be providing too much for us. Now things are quite out there to start off this Friday morning and today's going to be very quiet besides the possibility of some isolated showers and storms developing in Northern California. A little bit lesser chance east of the Cascades for this afternoon. Might see a cell pop up or two, but otherwise we're going to stay dry for most of our area. As we get into the start of tomorrow morning, you see that cloud cover increasing from the west and we're going to see that rain coverage increasing from the west as well, especially here in the valley. You see that as we get into later Saturday afternoon into the evening hours, a good coverage of that rain spreading across our area, stretching from the coastline all the way to the West Valleys. And then by the start of Sunday morning, we start to see that kind of pushing out east of the Cascades. Now we will see a little bit of a break into Sunday. This is going to be some on and on uh, on and off activity all the way into next week. It's not just going to be raining the entire time. In fact, as we look over the next five days, you see that coverage of rain moving in later Saturday. Uh, good coverage overnight Saturday and through Sunday, but then things start to taper off and push a little bit further to the south Sunday into Monday. Still likely to see some showers in our area, but as we get into Tuesday, late Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, that storm system builds right back up into our area and that brings the additional chances of rain into next week. So if you're getting out about for today, we're seeing those mid 70s out there, 77 in Medford, climate falls about 74. Again, the isolated chance maybe for some storms in Northern California we will drop to around 69 to 70 this weekend lower to mid 70s into the start of next week. What a huge difference compared to just the triple digits we had last week, last Friday and Saturday. Uh, we're seeing lower 60s for Sunday in Climate Basin, mid 60s and morning lows continuing in the 30s as we're getting into next week. Northern California rain chances pretty much all the way throughout Wednesday and the coastline. We'll see a chance of showers for Saturday and Sunday as well as on Tuesday. Highs continuing in the lower 60s.